Uh, hello? This is, hello, this is Sage Advice with Sage Hemingway. How may I help you? So, this is theoretically speaking. Theoretically. My friend, my friend has well, become a sugar baby to a very rich man who has two other flings. Ah, and sir, what's your name? My name is, uh... Po. Oh, Po. Oh, it's enough. It's bloody to meet you, Po. What was that? Uh, I said it, it is a pleasure to meet you, Po. Oh, yeah, you too. So, um, can you tell me what's going on? It seems like there's a lot of drama in your friend's life. Yeah, so he had become a sugar baby to a very rich man who has two flings. One is very aggressive and possessive of said sugar daddy. Okay. He has no idea what to do. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little confused. How, how many people are involved in this? So you have him, and then there is a boyfriend, and then there is a side piece. And the so side they... piece is very controlling and very awkward when around anybody else with the said boyfriend slash sugar daddy. Wow. Um, wow. Sounds like your friend is in a very complicated situation. Yes, he is. He is not sure what to do because he really likes the sugar daddy. But... There is two other people in his way, and one is very aggressive. Okay. Um, so, quick, quick question here. It sounds to me like your friend, I guess it's more of a statement. It sounds to me like your friend wants to be more than just a sugar baby. I believe he does. Okay. All right. Um, so... Why isn't your friend just honest with his sugar daddy? He's mentioned it before, but he's scared that he's going to lose him. Well, if your sugar, oh, well, if your friend's sugar daddy's uh, side piece is controlling, then don't you think that you're friends sugar daddy should maybe resolve that issue he should but he doesn't know what to do about it either uh okay perhaps your sugar baby and sugar daddy should sit down and and talk to the side piece about what's bothering them and maybe come to a, a sort of conclusion. Can't, I have a question. Do you know a person named Andrew, by the way? Uh, it sounds familiar. Okay. Uh, gentleman named Andrew called in the other day. Uh, talking about his harem. This kind of seems like you're a sugar daddy's friends. His also his name's Andrew Pennywood. I digress. My, my mistake. I, I don't know if it's the same related, but look, y'all just need to be honest, open, communicate. Uh, it sounds like this side piece character is the little, the little uh, controlling and maybe, maybe, do you, does your sugar baby and sugar daddy have protection? And I don't, I don't mean condoms. Uh, yeah, at least the sugar baby does for sure. I would say me the sugar baby should 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 uh take take a little be watch sugar daddy a little bit better and make sure side piece doesn't hurt anybody. And uh, if side piece is starting to get a little weird, maybe report him to or her or them they them to the authorities. Yeah, that, that'd probably be smart. 
Yeah. This is, again, it's a complicated situation that I don't have a lot of context for. Um, but I, I don't, I don't really know how to help just because I have, I don't have a lot of context, but, um, if, if somebody is feeling like their life is in danger, then, then make sure you take the proper, proper steps in, in, in order to, uh, help that and assist that because that's, that's an us, but nobody, you know, here at Sage Advice, I don't, I don't want to see anybody getting hurt. Yeah, that makes sense. I really appreciate you. I listen to you every night. Oh, yeah? That's, that's, uh, wow. That means a lot. Best radio show ever. I, I have to put out there. Oh, thanks. Thanks, thanks, Rand. I appreciate that. What was the, uh, you know, if you need any other advice, you can go in. Um, so thank you, he, you know, first and foremost, that your sugar baby friend is safe and that the sugar daddy friend is safe. And, uh, you know, if you know what a weirded out by side piece, you, you might want to sit down and have a full conversation. And just communication is key in situations like this. Yeah, thank you. I also have a quick question for you. Yeah. You're very wealthy, aren't you? <laughs> um, no, I am unfortunately not not as well off as I seem. Oh, well, never mind then. Oh, why? You, why? Uh, no reason. Um, well, I wish I could be a sugar daddy. That would be, that would be great. That's the, that's the dream. That's the goal in life, I guess. If I'm, uh, rich enough to be a sugar daddy, then, you know, that's the dream. Well, you'll get there one day. Uh, I, I certainly hope so. Uh, what do you right. do? Just give me a call. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Poe. Poe. All right. Well, thank you for calling into the show, Poe. I appreciate it. And thanks to know that I have a fan out there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All well, right. You, you have a great night. You too. Uh, take care, Poe. Bye-bye. Well, sounds like they're struggling terribly.